let me just, hi, <laughs> let me just get this, uh, this part done. We're going to put, this is Fabri-Tac. Fabri-Tac works on plastic. Um, Art Glitter Glue works on plastic. So whichever one you want to be using. Uh, and we're going to lay these right down on top of each other. Make sure the holes are lining up and the pages are lining up because this is going to make your project look nicer. Okay. Push that together. Make sure it's not moving. Then do another one. And we're just going to uh, glue all of these together. Um, another way that you could do it, and I might do this on top of the other, is um, staples. So, you know, if you don't want to do the glue or don't have a glue that will uh, keep, that will glue these down, you can just staple them. But, you do want to make sure that these are lined up as, as well as you can get them. I hate to use the word perfect because these are handmade things. And, you know, we just, there was only one human that was perfect. So, um, what, I think I have 15 pages. So, you know, it's going to take me a while, but I wanted you to go ahead while you wait for the next video to come to get this part done because it is a little going to be a little time consuming for you um, and you do want to make sure that it, they are all sitting nicely don't let the glue get past the little perforation points you know you don't want to glue these pages together at all you just want to glue this stuff together this little section right here and uh, so that's it get that done do your homework babies <laughs> yeah we got uh, we still got a lot to do still got a lot to do but it's um, it's gonna be fun this is gonna be different and um, that's why, you know, when I was sitting there, going, okay, now I'm going to, I'm going to, because I, uh, I haven't done this ahead of time. This is me flying by the seat of my pants, as usual. <laughs> uh, just take your time with this. If you have to let them dry, you know, because this is, it's starting to get a little, a little playful. Um, too many, you know, wanting to go in different directions. So I'm going to let them dry. And I'm primarily um, making sure that the holes are lining up so they are like right on top of each other. And that my, you know, my corners, my pages are, are lining up nicely. So um, those are the things. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye. Hello all you crafty people. I am so glad that you are joining me again. Thank you so much. If you're new to my channel, uh, welcome and I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and if you're one of my um, already subscribing followers, I love you guys and let's get started. Okay, so chipboard time, at least for the books. We're not doing, uh, I have three pieces left out of my eight, um, which I think will be enough to get the box done. I hope. I do have some, you know, some pieces from these that I can use uh, possibly, you know, like like this one um, could be the front. I, I haven't totally designed the, uh, the size and d diameters and all of that stuff for the box until I get the books done. Then I will finalize everything for the box to make sure they're snug but not too snug yaddy yaddy okay so you are going to need one 
half inch by eight and a half inch pieces of card uh, of uh, chipboard. You are going to need a six and a half by eight and a half one piece. You are going to need two and a quarter by eight and three quarters, two pieces. And you're going to need seven and a quarter by eight and three quarters, four pieces. This takes care of both books. Um, so we are going to go ahead and just put these together. I am going to use my black paper. Let's see, am I going to use my black paper? Yeah, I'm going to use my black paper. I just need to find it. Here it is. Or she blows. So, the black paper obviously won't work to do it this way. So, I'm going to have to put uh, at least two together. Let's see if, um, let's just do a quarter inch score tape. Now, if you don't have score tape, draw yourself a quarter of an inch line and put glue all over it. And then put your page down and cover all of the glue. You know, maybe line it up with your... I got I to gotta get it over here where I can see the white and the black. It's the only bad part with, with this is when you're working on black, black on black, just don't get it. It's not very easy. Oh, these scissors. I put them there so I could use them, but they don't work very well. <laughs> they do not work very well. Okay. Remember, do not stretch your score tape when you put it on. Alrighty. I'm going to take this off the the backing off and now another way that you can do this if and you so like is put your page and you know this is a 90 degree angles so put your page in there and then oops and then get this where it belongs. And there you go. So now you know you're nice and straight. That's just another thing that you can do. You don't have to do it that way. Oh. Ah. There. Okay. So let's see if we have enough. And I do not think so. Let's see. That's just all tight. Yeah, there's not enough room. Okay. So, um, oh, that's the wrong piece anyway. <laughs> Here's one here. Okay. So, yeah, that's definitely not going to work. So, we need to add ourselves a couple of inches. So, I don't believe I had any full length pieces from here and I don't. So we're going to get another sheet and whatever we have left over we will be able to use on our other um, book. So here we go again. Okay. Yeah, we're still recording. I forgot for a minute. So, oh my gosh, did I push the button? And we're just going to lay it down. Right like that. Just let that score tape be your guide. Okay. So, now, I want to make sure that I don't get the short piece. Yeah, these are two pieces here. 
Okay, so I am first going to see now here I have where I have put the two pieces together. And just about any place I go with that, I, it's going to be involved in the, the fold. So I'm going to bring my center of my page, of my chipboard, past that mark. A good, a good inch past that mark, okay? So that way I'm not involving the spot where I put the two pieces together in my fold because that, that just doesn't work. That's not a pretty, a pretty picture. Okay, so I'm going to use some score tape. around the edges so that I get instant tack and can keep moving. You do not have to do this. You can totally use uh, your glue stick. I don't usually recommend glue sticks, but some people, you know, if you think you're not going to have it dry out, well then your cover will start. I just don't, I just don't get into glue sticks. But there are people that have some that they swear by, and so that's great. So I, I know a lot of you are journalers, and so you can use your, as long as it's a good one and it doesn't dry out, because you don't want your paper on your book to have, like, pockets of air where it would be crinkly and stuff. Maybe that doesn't bother you. But that is the possibility if the glue dries out. So I have... The score tape and then I'm going to use some glue as well. I could have done this where I just pulled once and went all the way around, but I didn't. Maybe next time. <laughs> okay. And I have my art glitter glue. These are some new bottles I got for my birthday. And I am loving them. They are a, a nice fine tip. Um, and but when I squeeze it, you know, really squeeze it, I get I can get more out. So that is a really nice. Um, you know, a really nice combination. Just kind of spread that all over. Flick it around. And again, I'm going to lay it down so I have... Oops. Let's lay this evenly as well. So we got we got enough top and bottom. Not quite even, but it's enough top and bottom. Okay. Now this is one of the seven and a quarter by eight and three quarters. That's what we just put down. And now we're doing the two and a quarter by eight and three quarters. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and put some double-sided tape down. You know, the spine is a piece that kind of holds everything together. So you do want to make the spine as secure as you can. You know, it's, uh, it's totally worth it to take your time and make sure that you are... Oh, come on. It's supposed to be quicker. Okay, just give it a burnish. All right, let's take this off. And let's take this one off. A little bit of glue. These are actually Sugar Bella... I saved one of the packaging. Sweet Sugar Bella 
American Crafts, and they're the um, icing bottles. They're so easy to squeeze. The covers are very nice. I'm going to um, get this back. I'm going to leave about a quarter of an inch. Okay. And then this one. Where do I keep putting my, <laughs> my? Okay. Where did I put it? Right here. Jeez Louise. I don't even think you guys could see it. All right. So, last one. Although we do have more score tape to put. And. If you don't use your score tape for anything but the next item, I highly recommend the next thing that I do after placing this down with the score tape, highly recommend. And I will show you that in just a minute. Let's get this part done. Burnish. Okay, take it off, glue, I got a little paper liftage here so I'm taking care of that. Okay, now we're going to leave this approximately a quarter of an inch. Kind of eyeballing with my there we go. All right. Okay guys. Let's flip her over. Now, those of you that are journal makers, and maybe you're joining me to make this mini album, if it's your first mini album, maybe, uh, you know, some people make their journals, they, they just will use like cereal boxes and stuff, and you don't go through all of this. You can totally do your uh, books that way if that's what you want. It's, you know, it, it's whatever floats your boat, whatever works for you. Um, I like this method. It's clean, it's precise, and I know most of you that do journals, you know, you're not really into this, hence the reason you probably don't make mini albums. You can also do the whole, I'm just going to make a... Uh, cereal box one and be done with it. Okay, this is pretty stout paper, but just wanted to show you. I can still do the journaling way. <laughs> but we're going to use this paper uh, to help make our next one because we will need at least that much. All right, so um, now the next thing I told you that I said Hands down, the one thing that I suggest you use double-sided tape for, um, a good double-sided tape. Um, the Suquang tape is is really good. Um, I, I know there's a couple other ones that are really good. The red tape is really good. Um, some of the double-sided tapes, not so much. You know they're they're good for like if you're if you're doing uh, glitter or um, or just you know just using it to stick on some paper to paper, um, but right at the edges, right here, right 
here on the edge on both edges so the inside of your inside front and back covers inside of your front and back covers and then the outside edges of your spine uh, you can use glue and if you do use glue I would say please take some time to make sure that this part gets done really nicely okay um, now you can also go along the edges here this is again not necessary it um, it's probably for me a little quicker For, you know, for videoing purposes, it probably is a little quicker. That is the only thing about having this drawer unit right in front of me that I did not think about is the, you know, having something long ways. Okay. Let's push this sequine tape down into the hole. And, and if it tears, that's fine because you do want it to get down in the hole. Usually I will make sure it gets a little lower down in there, but I didn't this time. Okay, so then it's just use that edge. Kind of give yourself a little bit of a, a starting bend in it. You can take your bone folder and start the fold in it. Okay, now we're going to take our scissors. And we're going to give it a little cut and we're going to leave about an eighth of an inch eighth of an inch between the edges these are real big and you see I'm kind of I'm not cutting it straight just get those over like that. Now let's start on a long side. Come on. There we go. And we're going to pull these up so we don't get into um, you know having to pull them up later all right and come on there's always one in the crowd all right Okay, so we have this pretty well bent over. Before we stick it down, we're going to take our glue and we're going to go right on the edge of the chipboard. And we're going to go inside because we want that to go down into the paper in between. Alright, so I always start in my center and then I'm stretching that paper down and then once I've got it stretched a little bit then I put it down on the other side. 
and don't tear it. You do have to be cognitive of the fact that, you know, you're only going to get so much stretch out of there. But if you get a nice little, little bit in there, and then the rest of it will just go where it's needed. <laughs> I did stretch that just a little bit, but that flattened out. Okay. All right. Do the same thing here. Take this one off. Come on. Fold these back. Try and keep your fingers off of them because that's got uh, oils and things like that. So you just want to try and keep it pristine. Come on. There we go. All right. Again, we're going to put glue right on the, oops, the lower edge. And this gets the paper a little softer in that area. Okay. We're going to start in the center. Where did I put my... There it is. Start in the center. Do a little bit of pushing. remember you're going to put paper on top of this so that's why I'm not really doing too much more than just the edges because I'm going to have paper sitting on top of all of this. Get that edge, try and get that down into the glue a little bit. And there you go. Now, if you want to you can slide a little glue underneath which will help hold everything. Okay. Oops, oops, oops. Oy. Excuse me. Okay, and then we're going to go to the sides. Let me lift this up. Pull that out. I First, I'm going to put a little bit of glue in the excess paper that is on the corners where we left that eighth of an inch or more and we're going to fold it over and that glue is going to help keep it there so that we're not having to worry that our corners are not going to be nice and covered and the glue again just help save it there. Now I am going to put this down and I'm putting glue down along the edges. Why here and, and not here? Um, because this is going over the top. It's the end. Still going to have paper on the other side so it really, really not that big of a deal. Just trying to minimize the amount of work you have to do. <laughs> For all you journalers out there. Okay, again, the little edges, we want to have some glue. This one I didn't leave quite enough. But we're still going to try. We want to fold over what we can. And we're going to put glue on our 
edge of our chipboard and let's go ahead and get some glue down for that. Okay, again, it's all gonna get covered. Yeah, explosion of glue. Okay, now the next thing, take your bone folder, and let's just make that glue that we put on the edge, flatten it out, and make that paper stick where we put it. Push these little indentions in. Okay, and then there you go. There's our out, uh, our outer hull, I should say. Okay. Um, so now do the same thing with the other book. They both can go together in the same way. I'm thinking. Um. Yeah, I mean, at this point, then, they both go in two different directions, but um, at, uh, get my tip cleaned off here, but at this point, we're just going to, and just push your little tabs down if there's some tape that's not getting covered, so that's just ready for when you do your next one. So let's get both of those done, and I'll be back. all you crafty people we are going to finish off the inside of our books and a absolute eight and a half by eleven sheet is going to work perfectly and i'm thinking that is my last one so good thing i have another let's see so this is what I've been using. I, I don't think I told you at the beginning. It's just the Astro Brights cardstock, um, 176 uh, grams or 65 pound weight. So um, good for when you're building your book and going to be using cardstock or cardstock worthy um papers like Graphic 45 or, or any of those, you know, any of the nicer stuff. If you're using, um, boy, I, I did not even look at myself <laughs> before I, before I got on. I just said, oh my gosh, I've got, I've got a little bit of time to, <laughs> you can't see, hardly can't see me anyway, but I got a little time to craft. I'm going to jump in there. So here we are. <laughs> All right. So I'm pulling some out to use, but I'll just need one more for this one. All right, so the first one I'm going to do is, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is take off just the very first uh, score tape that I have down, okay? And let's see... I want to use, I'm going to use a art glitter, gl no, let me use Fabri-Tac. I've got so much Fabri-Tac, I need to get through some of it. <laughs> um, so I am going to utilize the Fabri-Tac and put it all over. Except I don't usually put glue on my tape. To me, it kind of kind of takes away from the whole reason you're using tape. So anyway, I don't usually put glue on my tape. Now, if you need to put a dot or two to allow it to maneuver a little bit because you're worried you might not get it just right, then by all means, go ahead and do that. Okay, but if you work off of this side before you drop it, you will probably be 
totally happy with what you get. You always want to try it first and see what you're looking to get from this. And I just want to make sure I'm nice and straight and then I'm getting everything covered. Okay, so there's my scoring tool. My just going to make sure I'm moving all of that glue and that that score tape is working for me. And of course, a little heavy-handed. That's okay. That way I know that I'm getting it all the way to the ends. And I won't have to worry about it lifting on me. Okay, so now we are attached up to where the space is between the front cover and the spine. So I am going to take this time and I am going to work the paper down into that area. I'm going to take my glue and put a bead not all the way to the ends because it, it'll just squirt out. So let's push that down in there and I'm literally going to take a moment and let that glue grab and even somewhat dry. I like having a very nice Um, indentation there. Okay, so now I'm going to take off the very next score tape. And I'm going to put some glue. Let's see, let me see. Yeah, this is going to go all the way to the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put glue down this and then glue where there is no tape. No double sided tape, you put glue. All right, so now I'm going to push this back in. There we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and push this down. Sure, we got everything nice and this is going to get pushed down into that glue that I just put into the second groove between the spine and the back panel. I'm going to actually try and let that glue dry just a smidge. Okay, I'm going to go ahead kind of fold that so I can put some glue see this worked out okay because it's not having um, the paper in the fold but I will have this piece overlap this piece so now I'm going to push this down in here again and just push that down 
as I go across my paper. And then we'll just have to wait and let that glue catch. Okay. Very nice. Very nice so far. We got this. We got this. And then I'm just going to overlap this piece so that it just gives it that much more stability. And I'm going to make a line where I want to cut. Okay. Right. Okay, so this one we can just put our glue just like any other piece of paper that we're going to place down. La da da da. We have got a collaboration coming in July. I'm so excited. Um, right now we are taking uh, anybody who is interested, anybody who has a YouTube channel can join this collaboration for Christmas in July. It's going to be a lot of fun. We had a lot of people last year and it was just fantastic. Really gave a good kickoff for um, for Christmas. So I hope those of you that have a YouTube channel and participated last year, I hope you will join us. And those of you that have a YouTube channel, um, please join us. We are all about being fair and it's a good community and you know, that's that's what it's all about. Let's Let's share our ideas and really just have fun with it. You know what I'm saying? So, let's see. A little bit too much glue right there. All right. So, there we have a nice finished. And you want to make sure that you let this dry, but because I have the score tape, we should get, this is wanting to just be a little crooked, so I'm going to fix that. And remember, it does not need to go past this point. You know, you can do it a little bit, but it doesn't need to go any further than that. It's a book. Books open this way, and they close this way, and they got papers in them. You don't need to flatten them all the way down both sides and all of that stuff. It just, it, it take, gives too much chance to ripping. Now, my I might know that my paper won't, you know, just like somebody else will know what their paper does. But I teach, because I don't know what paper you're using, so I teach it the way you should really do it. Um, once you get a paper that you really like and you use a lot and you get to know it and you want to flatten it down on both sides, you know, flatten it this way and flatten it this way, uh, you go right ahead. Some people have even taken the time to push these back in. Um, I'm not going to do that, but to, you know, to take it and push it in like a normal book would go. Um, I tend to like mine a little more rounded. It's just easier if I'm going to be wrapping. It's just a lot easier for this to be round than to have an indentation in there. So that's why I do that. And then you're going to want to do the same thing to the other book. Okay. Now, let's move forward. Well, let me get everything organized. So I will be back in a moment. 